So in this video, we're going to discuss clip gain. In the past, I made videos on automation, how we use automation, how to write automation, the different types of automations. So we're going to focus on clip gain and how I use it. So before we dive into clip gain, over here I have a session by a group called Black Rose. Big shout outs to my boy Sin Rock for allowing me to use this uh, session. By the way, they own all the audio, so I shouldn't have any problems. So the first thing I want to do, I want to play this back for you guys. Honey to honey to honey packs. I promise you won't get your honey back. Your chick, you a hearse, you a dot dot. Too much hair when I quat to your Sasquatch. My boys to your car, it's the hot box. Had a gun with a scope like Black Ops. I'm running through these women like roadblocks. I like you on, you ain't got no shot. I treat your black like the Autobahn. Millie Rock with the watch, so you know I'm on. I've been up for three nights, it's a trapathon. But I still run the block like a marathon. Marijuana, Zanny bars. I'm blessing my team like I'm Santa Claus. But I'm still on a boost, what I can't afford. When I hop out the whip, but there's no accord. You ain't bagging that pee, bitch. All right, the first thing that I want to show you guys is the big difference between automation and clip gain. So over here, I have the Waves uh, VU meter. I'm going to go all the way down here to the end of the track. So basically, the fade is happening but the audio still going through the inserts. So that's kind of the difference between automation and clip gain. So if I get rid of this, let's mute the track and I'm gonna go right here, let's see. You can see there's audio, now there's no audio whatsoever. So if I go all the way here, check it out. So yeah, that's the difference. You're actually manipulating the audio with uh, clip gain. So if you're wondering why would I do something like that, I can actually mess up the audio and you're right. Let me solo this. This is Sin Rock's vocal. A honey to honey to honey packs. Okay, you might notice the track has a lot of dynamics in it. And normally we will put on a compressor to smooth out those dynamics. But the one thing that I like to do, I want to hit the compressor a certain way. There have been times where I'll get a session and I'll see something like this. Let's bring that down. So you'll have a loud part and then all of a sudden the audio just dips. A honey to honey to honey packs. I promise you won't get your honey back. Your chick, your house. The artist might be reading a piece of paper, their phone, and they're not looking in the direction where the microphone is at. And you might have slight dips in the audio because of that. So how do you solve this? A compressor, or you can go with clip gain, and you can level all of that out. My thing is, I want to hit the compressor a certain way. When I hit the compressor a certain way, I know what it's going to give me back. It's going to sound great. A honey to honey to honey packs. I promise you won't get your honey back. Now something you can do, you can use the Waves uh, plugin, the VU meter. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with this plugin. Check this out. Some gooey issues and that kind of annoys me, but it still works. So let's go ahead and let's lower this down. A honey to honey to honey packs. I promise you won't get your honey back. Your chick, your house, your dot dot. So as you can hear, there's some differences. So I would open a plugin like this and I would adjust it. A honey to honey to honey packs. I promise you won't get your honey back. Until everything is pretty much equal. Now, if you're using a version of Pro Tools that doesn't have clip game, it's very simple. Create an aux channel, send your track to that aux channel, put your plugins on that aux channel, and then you can mess around with the fader and that's gonna affect how you hit your plugins. Now, something else that I think I should mention, I have the lanes on. Normally it won't look like this, so if you go to view, you go to clip. And normally this is not going to have a check on it, so if you take this off, this is how most sessions look like. You don't need the lanes on to manipulate the audio. So you can highlight a certain part, and over here you're going to have 0 dB, you're going to have this little fader, so you can manipulate the audio through here. I'm going to undo that. Now I just like to do it this way. I like to turn on clip gain lane. There you go. So you could kind of do the same thing. Check that out. Pretty neat. So another thing you could do, if you put a compressor on a vocal and you notice that the levels are right, but all of a sudden you hear the T's, the S's, the plosives, they're all up in your face. You can use automation. I've showed you that in the past, but that doesn't really solve the issue because the compressors Kind of going a little crazy when that's happening. So you want to open clip gain and you want to smooth out those parts. And believe me, it works. At the end of the day, the compressor is going to be a little happier. 
So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe, thumbs up, check the description. If you have any questions, just let me know. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys. Zanny bars, I'm blessing my team like I'm Santa Claus. But I'm still not a boost what I can't afford. When I hop out the whip, but there's no accord. You ain't bagging.